Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're doing another installment of 18 Wheels of Steel American Long Haul. Now you may remember in the last episode we were hunting around for a nice job and I'd taken a lot of your comments and I'd used them to get the game working for me properly because it's a particularly hard game starting out. But once you get used to it I'm told it's actually quite good. So, uh, what we actually did in the last episode is we were starting to fall asleep, so we had to pull over onto a shoulder and advance time. So we're now advancing the time, and I did 24 hours, and we are going back and close, and we're back in the game again. And then we need to start her up again, and away we go. Uh, take the handbrake off. I put it back on again. Indicate. Oh, that guy's coming. He's not gonna. Is he gonna let? Yeah, he is. Right. That was probably uh, not a good shoulder to to pull over on, but uh, really, I wanted to just get in there and, and get rest because I have had a lot of issue in the past where I'd start dozing off and. It's just a real pain. So just just get some sleep as soon as possible is what I've been doing. Right. Uh, this is a tight corner, this is. Wow. <clears throat> so you can see that uh, we've got no police altercations at the moment. But we have had a couple of warnings already so what we need to do is really keep our nose clean for the time being so that the cops don't bother us anymore because I want to get down and I want to get that you know 170 something thousand dollars that we're um, that's due now uh, I have been told that there's no time in this so we don't have a deadline time so that's good I was thinking that um, like Euro Truck Simulator where you get a deadline I was thinking that it was more like that so that's why I was sort of worrying a bit last time but um, but no no deadline we just get there you deliver it and that's it uh, 18 wheels of steel the uh, other 18 wheels of steel we did which was um, Extreme Trucker 2 that had a deadline and that's where I was thinking they were combining the Euro trucks and the 18 wheels of steel uh, extreme trucker together and that's where you would get this but no it's not like that at all this is more along the lines of a dulled down version of Euro trucks apparently from what it looks like uh, don't mean to upset anyone uh, that's just the way that I see it so it's my opinion guys and we all know what I think about everyone's opinion so don't take offence to anything I say in these videos, guys. Alright, here we go. So we're getting past these hilly areas by the looks of it. And, um... Time just seems to be going past so fast in this game. we really got to get this moving. It just can't get it going fast enough. I think, um... One of the first things that uh, I was that was recommended to me to do is once I get a large amount of money to I think it was to upgrade your truck straight away to um, a bigger engine, just do some upgrades and then buy another truck. So by the sounds of it, you can actually get drivers, you know, to drive for you. So that'd be cool if you can do that. That'd make it really interesting. Just like Euro trucks, you know, because that was once you get a, a one truck, you buy another truck and then do some small loads, you know, get them to do another truck and do more loads. And um, it just before you know it, you get so much money. So I'm hoping that that's going to happen in this game too. Get it down to the right gear so we're going up the hill. 
down to the third. I hope this gets up this hill. How are we going for fuel here? Oil, fuel, oh geez, we're nearly on empty. We need to get fuel. Um, we can't cross this freeway. I hope there's some more fuel coming up here. Otherwise we're in a lot of trouble. Whoops, everyone's just stopped for some reason. What happened? Bit of a accident, which I didn't even cause. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, so now we've got a new problem where we need fuel. Um, so that's going to be interesting because look, it's just the needle's just taking a dive. See, there's no fuel for ages. We might be in a, a big mess. Mess of trouble. Let's hope that there's something up ahead here because otherwise we're going to be stuck on the side of the road. might have to just pull into a town or something I don't know because there's not many service stations on the side of the road there's one back there but we can't sort of jump across the lane there's parking there is That looks like fuel just down there, if we can get down there. So, what are we doing? It looks like 60 kilometers per hour. There's another smash. Look at that. Those guys are crazy. So what was it, 60 kilometers per hour? Sorry, we're doing. It's pretty slow. There's a Freightliner going past there. There's another one. Freightliner Argosy. Another Freightliner. There's a lot of Freightliners in this game. And you can see that a lot of them have been... I mean, I look at some of these and I look at Euro trucks and I go, wow, you can see so many of these trucks have been converted out of here into Euro trucks. It's amazing. And it seems to be a lot of the good ones uh, that are free have actually... I'm talking about free mods here. Uh, have been converted over and there were conversions. So... Um, that's really interesting. Doesn't seem to be too many actual people making um, the mod from scratch. I know it's really hard. It takes a long, long time and I think people just lose patience. I think that's why they don't do it. Right, uh, we need to turn just up here. It's a uh, pea soup, my friend. Right, Calgary. We need to turn down there. It's 
where we need to get off here. And hopefully we'll make it to that service station because I tell you what, it's looking pretty bleak. Calgary. Winnipeg. No, we don't want to go to Winnipeg, we want to go to Calgary. What are you beeping me for, asshole? Not in your lane. Ah, oh, just went fine all of a sudden. KCMC, hungry? Yeah, I am actually. Should get some KCMC. SCS Software, advertising their other games. I think that's a good idea that they do that. Oh man, look at that needle dipping down. That needle's dipping right down there. Going 10 100, catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Going 10 100, catch you on the flip side. Is that engine brake works a charm. See, it's working a lot better because of all your advice that you guys have given me. It's absolutely amazing. The amount of help that you've given me is unreal. Now, from what I understand, that on the very right, that is not a lane, that is actually a, a shoulder, or it's a, a parking area, or a pulling area to pull over in, from what I understand. Oh man, come on, look at that needle. Come on, we just have to turn down this corner here. I'm going in this lane here. Right. Welcome to Calgary. Thank you. We're tired, and we're going to get fuel. Where's that fuel? Just up here. Is our truck going to make it? Come on. What is this? Oh, are we... Oh, we're in the middle of the road there. Very confusing these lanes here. So where's the fuel? Hang on. Where's the fuel? Out of fuel. Oh come on. Come on, serious? That's terrible. Right, okay. Um let's Ooh. go notebook and uh order trailer. No, make emergency call. There we go. Um, rescue service will cost 5000 Do you want these? Yes, we have to. Well, that was absolute crap. Now we still have to find the service station by the looks of it. Yeah, we do. So that was rubbish. Um, where's the service station? It says there's a service station there, but there's not a service station there. Crazy. Crazy. This game is crazy. Come on. Why 
account we get <sighs> okay yeah, we got a traffic report up ahead. this truck is not it's having a lot of issues I can't get into second gear look at that should stop for some rest. Okay, let's um What's this we got up here? South South Great Falls. Oh. We just want to keep going straight, I think. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to pull over here. And then go to sleep. So notebook, advance time, and go to sleep. There we go. Back, in we go. Close. Right. Welcome back. <laughs> Not sure what was happening there with the truck. It's working fine now, but it wasn't allowing me to go into second gear before, so... That was really strange. It would go into second gear and then go right down and then back up again, so... I mean, I don't think I had the handbrake on. Maybe that might have been it. Alright. Boost that map up again. And let's see. I still need to get out and find a service station that will fuel me up. Because that was weird. Maybe I should have stayed on the straight there and gone to the service station, but I don't know. It, just, it doesn't tell you exactly where it is, so it makes it really hard. Right. But we're moving. We've got no altercations. Somewhere along the line, my truck got repaired, so... Don't know what happened there. And are we still in the shoulder? Are we not meant to be in this lane? I don't know. Nobody else is in this lane, so it's all good. I think we're meant to be in this lane here. Yeah, that truck up ahead's in that lane, so... Probably best to stick in this lane. And we're coming up to the section of the road we're going to have to merge here. Or turn. I think it's, yeah, it's turn. We've got to turn here. Oh, we're in neutral. Okay. Right. Awesome. <laughs> See? I'm getting better at this game. It's brilliant that I'm actually getting around here and not having too much issues. Right. 110. Let's see how we go. Now, can we go into that lane there? Oh, no, it's not a lane, is it? I don't know. I just keep driving. 
and then just up here we want to be able to see that oh that guy's in a lane there so there we go I'm gonna jump in that lane there What transmit? Oh, it's some sun flare. Wow, that is bright. That is bright as anything. So we need to turn, fuel's still half. So we're going to turn down this thing here, off ramp, whatever. Oh no, we need to go straight and it's going to swing us round, isn't it? So. Impatient people keep honking me, eh? Right, green again. I have to admit, though, the trucks in this game look absolutely awesome. Oh, we need to go this way, Winnipeg. Winnipeg or whatever it is, whatever it's called. That trailer looks cool, the black with the yellow bits on it. And right, got to keep an eye on that fuel, we're losing a lot of fuel, so there's a fuel station down here. Hopefully, it looks like it's on our side. Hopefully, we can actually get some fuel this time. How's the flow looking for us up ahead? Uh, generic response. Let's go six anyway. Ten four hand. Thanks for the comeback. <laughs> ten four. Ten four. Yeah, ten four. Probably make our own CB noise, I guess. Right. Come on. Little bit away from that fuel station. There's some snow. You know, I don't think I would know what to do in the snow. Um, it would. I think it would be very interesting for me being in the snow. Because one, I've never experienced snow, so I think you got to put chains on. But um, wouldn't cha chains chew up the road? I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what they did. Right, this may actually go over a fair few episodes. This. But that's all good because these guys are absolutely loving this this um, uh, American long haul. Yeah, these the stats are showing that it's very very popular, just as popular as Euro trucks, believe it or not. Here's a cop taking a 10-100 on the side of the road.
Can we honk him? What happens if we honk him? Hey cop, how's it going? Nothing. Doesn't do anything. Right. Now, here comes the fuel station. So hopefully there's a sign that says it's on our side of the road, not on the opposite side of the road there. I'll be cranky if it does. Can't see it. Must be just over that rise there. Thank goodness there's no time limit on this game. We would not get it in there in time with this truck. Right. Um, there it is. There's the fuel station right there. What? What did I hit? I didn't hit anything. What the hell? This game is weird. What am I hitting? There's... What is there that I'm hitting? There's nothing that I'm hitting. Nothing there. Anyone got a 1013? Right, now it's working. That was weird. That was so weird. I wasn't hitting anything and it was telling me I was. Okay, so. Ding, ding. So turn off the truck. Or do we just put the filler up? Oh, that was quick. Oh, okay. Turn on the truck again. Should say full. Yes, it does. Thank you very much. And away we go. Here goes that, that bug again. Look. Now it's, there we go, I don't know what it is. What the hell? What did we hit? See, that's weird. I it, couldn't see anything there that we were going to hit, so... Wow, to today's standards, this game is very, very, very alpha. At least we got full tank of gas. Got me a full tank of gas. Now let's have a look at the map. Make sure we're heading in the right right way. How's the flow looking for us up ahead? Uh, pretty generic, mate. Uh, let's see. Zoom out. So we're Winnipeg is where we have to go, and then Montreal. Winnipeg and then Montreal. That's where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to Montreal. But it uh, looks like we're going all the way down to... to Miami, which is going to be a long haul. Doesn't matter, we'll get there. Maybe we can upgrade the engine along the way. Might be an idea, don't know. In the meantime, let's rev the crap out of this one so we can get going faster. There we go. Started getting tired already. Well, I think I'm just going to pull over just over here. And 
then there we go stop right there and turn the truck off and then there we go we go into notepad and advance time all right well guys that is pretty much it for this episode what we'll do is we will uh, sorry we'll come back again and we'll continue on with this journey hopefully we can speed it up a bit somewhere along the lines we can maybe upgrade an engine or something like that and get it going a bit quicker because it is taking a long time at the moment but we're getting there that's the main thing we're advancing a lot quicker than what we were in the past all right guys well look thank you very much for watching look if you like this video then don't forget to share uh, also give us a thumbs up as well and look keep the shiny side up the greasy side down and I'm 1010 on the side and remember game on thanks for watching youtubers if you'd like to see more videos then click on the links beside just over here we take a look at 18 wheels of steel American long haul and we go from Vancouver to Miami transporting some glass just down there we take a sneak peek look at the Scania R440 and do we like it we just have to wait and see. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!